Okay, so you know all about sensory receptors in terms of general terms. So the types meaning outside stimulus or inside stimulus. Proprioceptors are one type of internal stimulus, but more specific. You also know about the different types of stimuli that could um, stimulate a sensory receptor. So these are the ones we talked about here. We will focus more on some of these than others. Lastly, we talked briefly about general sense receptors versus special sense receptors in terms of these being more complex and being a separate cell typically. So right now what I wanna do is, first of all, remind you of that, um, the general senses versus the special senses. This is the image I just showed you in the previous, that separate cell right here. But right now, I want to talk about a few examples of general sense receptors. So these two right here, and look at a section of the skin and see what's there. So the integumentary system is actually what we're going to be looking at here. So let's go to a section of the skin. And what you'll see here is embedded in the dermis and epidermis, there are various sensory receptors. You saw these briefly before. So we've got here free nerve endings. These are all over the body um, and then they're various types. So these are going to be um, free nerve endings are nociceptors. What's that? Pain. Thermo receptors are the, the two big ones. And again, these are inside, outside the body. Um, there's, they're kind of general. So these are the two things they can um, respond to. There also can be various other stimuli as well. They're very non-specialized, right? Because they're just free nerve endings. They're going to be not specialized. Hair follicles also have are wrapped around with sensory. Um, dendrites, the free nerve, nerve endings that are stimulated when hairs move. This here is the last type of, over on this side, this is non-encapsulated. Over here, these are going to be capsulated. And just to remind you, we're talking about somatic sense receptors. These are our general senses opposed to the specific senses, the special senses, vision, hearing, taste, smell, and equilibrium. So the last one down here, this is called a tactile disc. This entire thing here, it is made up of a Merkel cell in addition to these nerve endings here these nerve termi terminals. So this actually is the one example in the general sense, the somatic sense system where there is a separate cell, separate from the um, afferent fiber. So this is actually a separate cell, this Merkel cell here. It's called a tactile disc. And these are actually these little Merkel cells. What do you think those are? Those are actually modified epithelial cells. See them there? Um, these are a type of mechanoreceptor. So most of these general senses are either going to be mechanoreceptors or for the free nerve endings, those also can be pain and temperature. So mechanoreceptors. Over on this side for encapsulated, I'm sorry, I'm missing that term there, encapsulated. We've got two kinds, one up here. And these ones up here are called tactile corpuscles. Um, I'm actually not gonna talk more about those. That's what's written here. The other example I want to have you know about are these down here. These are called lamellar corpuscles. 
So these are encapsulated, both of these, by various layers of um, collagen fibers and connective tissue to make them respond, to be able to respond to specific stimuli. So these lamellar corpuscles, which are also called pacinian, are all over the body. They're mechanoreceptors, and they're specialized to respond to deep pressure. You see, they're generally a little deeper in the dermis. Um, stretch, and that's because of these layers that they have, and high frequency vibration. So these are the ones I would like you to know. Um, I believe I have these come up here. Yes. Okay, let's review these quick. So the general location, structure, and function of different types of general sensory receptors. So this is encapsulated versus unencapsulated, knowing which are which. Free nerve endings, these two types, um, things that are transmitted by free nerve endings are thermoreceptors and are thermoreception and nociception. These are the other, the other example of the non-encapsulated, the unencapsulated. So tactile discs, which are made up of the tactile Merkel cell, along with the axon that connects to, right? So here's the cell, the Merkel cell, and then it's going to talk to that sensory fiber, two cells. Then we've got our encapsulated ones. So tactile corpuscles was the one I said, you don't really need to worry about as much. Um, this is going to be more high frequency vibration in case you're interested. Also touch. These are all, basically these ones are all types of mechanoreceptors. And then lastly, I want to remind you of these ones. So proprioceptors are also considered general senses. So this again is your, your sense of where your body is in space. And these muscle spindles are something we've talked about, right? This is somatic sensation in terms of where, where your body is in space. These are not going to be carried to the primary sensory cortex. So these are going to be more unconscious this is going to travel to the cerebellum. We'll see this, these pathways in just a moment. So tendon organs are the other proprioceptive, recept specialized um, organs that are in tendons that also detect stretch. Just want you to know that they also exist. So next video, we will look at the pathways from a few of these to the brain to kind of put this all together.